I am dead. Well, at least the real me is. You see, the body I'm using to write this isn't mine. I stole it. Don't worry, I won't be using him for too long. Once I'm done writing all this salad, I'll give it back to him. He won't even know that anything happened. I'll even be sure to tuck him back into bed once I'm done. So, let me begin when I was still alive. I was your average 24-year-old guy. I wasn't into witchcraft or anything. In fact, it was quite the opposite. Before I died, I didn't even believe in the supernatural. Now that I think about it, the way I died was really quite embarrassing. I was cleaning a gun when... Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't my original body. It's been so long I almost forgot. No, I remember now. I was just about to have a bubble bath. The last time I had one was probably about four years ago. I was admittedly a bit excited. So excited that I managed to trip on my way down to the full tub. My head landed square on the edge of the tub, knocking me out instantly. My unconscious body managed to slide into the water, and I drowned. Next thing I knew, I was in limbo. I suppose I probably went unclaimed by whatever happens in the afterlife. And so, I was placed in the waiting room while the other higher-ups sorted me out. It actually appeared as if I was in a literal waiting room. The kind you see at every doctor's office. There was no one else in the room, though. Just me and some terrible elevator-type music coming from overhead. Now that I think about it, maybe this was hell. After what seemed like an eternity, the music stopped. I heard a ding, and a voice came from overhead. Thank you for waiting. Please make your way to the door on your right and step through. Well, I didn't have any other options, so I obliged. I made my way to the door and stepped through. There was a man waiting for me on the other side. Welcome. Please take a seat wherever you feel comfortable. He said this, gesturing at the many different seats in the room. It looked like a therapy room. There were couches and a few regular chairs. I took a seat in one of the chairs, and I tried to study the man. Even now, I couldn't explain him if I tried. It was as if his face was constantly shifting. He certainly had some aura about him. I'm pretty sure he was a god of some sort, or at least some type of higher being. Where am I, then? I finally asked. I suppose most humans would call this purgatory, or maybe limbo. In short, we weren't quite sure what to do with you. What do you mean? Can't you just send me to heaven or hell or whatever? He laughed. That was certainly on the table. We decided to play rock, paper, scissors for you, and I was the big winner. So I've decided I'm going to give you a second shot at life. So, I'm going to be reborn? I asked. I chose to ignore the fact that apparently these gods had decided my fate by a game of rock, paper, scissors. Not exactly. Oh, you'll figure it out soon enough. This was the last thing he said. He then snapped his fingers. I was back in my bathroom, staring at my lifeless corpse. Was I a ghost? Is this what he meant by a second shot at life? That doesn't seem quite right. I looked down at myself, and I appeared to be normal. I would have thought I was still alive if my corpse wasn't lying across the room. I waited by my body. Somebody would have come for me eventually. It took two days before a police officer finally made his way into my bathroom and found my corpse. I had confirmed my theory of being some sort of ghost before he ever got there. In those two days of waiting, I had never gotten tired, hungry, or thirsty. It was just added confirmation when the officer sprinted past me and pulled my lifeless body out of the bathtub. I had tried moving objects during my wait, but I was unable to do anything but look. I hadn't gotten the chance to try and touch any other person, though. I approached the officer, and as he called for the paramedics, I placed my hand on his shoulder, and the next thing I knew I was blinking and breathing. 
I hadn't thought about it, but I hadn't done either of those two things in the past two days. It had been unnecessary before. I looked around the room before spotting my mirror. I was no longer a ghost, I was... I was now the officer. I had taken control of his body. I was a bit clumsy at first in my new body, but after a few minutes it seemed like I had full control. Just as I got the hang of things, my head, or rather the officer's head, began to pound intensely. After a few seconds of agonizing head pain, I found myself once again staring at the officer from the outside. I had been kicked out of his body. The officer was holding his head while hunched over. What the hell just happened? He said. He didn't seem to understand that his body had been briefly hijacked. I approached him and attempted to touch him again, but nothing happened this time. I wasn't able to retake his body. I didn't know at the time, but there are certain rules for my body snatching abilities. One of which is when I'm kicked out, I can't get back in. I've gotten much better at using my abilities since then. After a while, the paramedics came to collect my body. There were two who came into the bathroom, one man and one woman. I knew I was going to try and do what I had done with a cop, but which one should I choose? I highly considered the woman just for the experience, but I wasn't quite ready at the time to take control of a female body. I touched the man's shoulder, and once again I found myself in control. This time the transition seemed much smoother. I continued to help the woman with collecting my corpse as to not seem suspicious. Several minutes passed and the headache didn't come this time. With the help of the other paramedic, we placed my original body in a bag and wheeled it to the ambulance. I began to make my way to the passenger seat when the woman stopped me. Where are you going? You always drive. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm actually not feeling so good right now. Do you mind driving? I said back to her. Fine, but you're buying me dinner. I began to realize that taking this body might have been a mistake. I didn't know the first thing about being an EMT. If I stayed in this body, I may end up costing other people their lives. There was one problem, though. I had no clue how to separate myself from the body. I had been kicked out of the cop's body, but this one didn't seem to be putting up much resistance. I needed to find a way out on my own. I put everything I had in trying to will myself out of the body. It was a fruitless effort, though. How was I supposed to do this? Getting in had been so easy. Shouldn't getting out be the easy part? I bit down on the man's thumb. It's a habit I've always had when I get frustrated. I bit hard enough to draw blood. I stared down at the small wound, once again wishing I could just leave this body. As I thought this, the headache returned and a few moments later I was outside the paramedic's body. What had triggered it? Had it been the wound? Possibly a combination of my desire to leave and the wound. I wasn't quite sure at the time, but I was happy to be out again. I followed the paramedics all the way back to the hospital. After they wheeled my body inside, I decided it would be best if I just left. I wouldn't be getting back into my own body. I began to seek out someone new. I realized I should really study someone before I tried taking them. If I wanted to take them long term, that is. I would need to know all the basics, their relationships, their jobs, their hobbies, mannerisms. I couldn't expect to take over someone's life without knowing anything about them. I could use other bodies for a short period of time like I'm doing now, but that would only be for specific purposes. There are over 7 billion people on Earth, though, so I'm not too worried about running out of equity. Also, I didn't fully understand my abilities. I would need to practice using my body stealing powers more, and I really needed to find the correct way to leave a body I didn't want to stay in. I have much more to tell, but this is all I have time for right now. I can't stay too long in this body, or, or they will find me. I'll be back soon with a new body to write more. 
But for now, it's time to put this guy back to bed. <laughs>